Okay. Well, good afternoon. It's Thursday afternoon, February 12th. And it's the 21st legislative day. We're live here from the Senate chambers. They've just finished their work for the week uh, about 45 minutes ago. As a legislative update, first of all, uh, House Bill 1065, the voting trust, that's been through both houses and is now down on second floor for the, waiting the governor's signature. 1067 is the medical records expense cap bill. That came out 9-4 earlier this week in the House Judiciary. It will be on the floor uh, either Tuesday or Wednesday. It was, amended, it was amended to reflect the same cost limit or cap as workers' compensation uh, established some 20 years ago. Uh, we are being fought hard from the hospitals, particularly in the, in the doctors. Uh, they don't want any cap. Uh, House Bill 1068, uh, that's Senate Judiciary, uh, that's on the cross credit in shared parenting, and that bill uh, came out of Senate Judiciary uh, today, this morning early, and is on the consent calendar, uh, and then since it's already been through the House, would go on down to the governor's full signature. House Bill 1099 is the charging order bill for LLPs, and that's been scheduled in Senate Judiciary for Tuesday morning, next week. Uh, I, re I reported earlier about the conservancy easements, House Bill 1152. Uh, that we were successful in killing in committee. They still have about seven legislative days for a smoke out if they want to try it. I'm now thinking that they are not going to, but we still have it on our wait and see list. Uh, a couple bills put in by the Chief Justice rather late in the session, Senate Bills 178 and 179. Uh, the, your Board of Bar Commissioners uh, uh, voted to have the Bar support those bills. That would extend the, uh, among other things, it does a variety of things, but it would extend the rural lawyer recruitment uh, an extra five years and add 16 slots. Uh, those were heard in Senate Appropriations Committee this morning, and they both those bills came out on an eight to one affirmative vote and come down to the Senate. Uh, I think there's a fair amount of steam with it, and I think they'll do fine. The nonprofit bill has been, uh, 1078, has been very problematic for us because the nonprofits that have the wherewithal, they have staff, perhaps they have lobbyists up here, uh, they're intimidated by a 175-page bill, and even with the delayed Im implementation date of a year, uh, people are too busy. Uh, then you have really small uh, nonprofits, and they don't have any staff, and they don't have anybody to help them out, and so they were uh, they were concerned. So uh, that bill was in trouble, and so I decided I decided to ask the committee to table the bill. And we'll bring it back next year, and we'll make it prospective only an application. Uh, uh, by way of uh, update, I've been mentioning I've been mentioning the trial lawyers' comparative negligence bill uh, that went through the House this last week. Uh, that's House Bill 1103, and it will be it's been assigned to Senate Commerce. It has not yet been scheduled to date. Um, the Capital punishment bills essentially have all been killed. Uh, they were all heard this week. And uh, that's the update for the week. Have a long and wonderful weekend.